All right, I'm going to notify the owner that I'm here to test their double check valve assembly. And I'm going to identify, inspect, and observe. To begin, I will flush out the system by opening test cock number one and closing. Open test cock two, close. Open test cock three, close. Open test cock four, close. Okay, I'm going to begin by connecting the sight tube to test cock number three and the compensating valve to test cock number two. I'll connect my high side hose to the compensating valve on test cock two. Make sure all of my valves are closed on the test kit. Now I'm going to purge the lines, so I'm going to open test cock 2 slowly and open my high side bleed, get rid of any air out of the system, and close it. Now I'm going to open test cock 3 to fill the sight tube at the top and close it. Okay, I've purged the system, now I'm ready to isolate, so I'm going to close shut off valve 2. Elevate the test kit to the height of the sight tube and close shutoff valve number one. So we're testing check valve number one right here. And to do that, I'm opening test cock number three to allow water to flow out of the sight tube. Once the water is done flowing and the needle stabilizes, that will give me the reading for check valve number one, which is 1.8. Okay, I'm going to close test cock 2, close test cock 3, open shutoff valve 1, remove test equipment, and prepare to test check valve number 2. So to do that, I'm going to connect my compensating valve to test cock number 3. and my sight tube to test cock number four. All right, I'm gonna purge the lines once again. So I'm gonna open test cock number three slowly and open my high side bleed valve to get rid of any air. Close the high bleed. Open test cock 4 to fill the sight tube, and close. Now, finish isolating, elevate the test kit to the sight tube, close shut off valve 1, and now I'm going to open test cock 4, which will give me my reading for check valve number 2. Once the water stops and the needle stabilizes, this gives me the reading for check valve number two, which is 1.4, which is passing. So that's good. I'm going to close check valve three, close check valve four, open shutoff valve number one, and open shutoff valve two. Remove all test equipment and notify the owner that their double check valve assembly has passed and that I will now test, uh, fill out the test report form completely accurately and legibly. Thank you, have a nice day and we'll see you next year.